All right, Buster Rush, a bum around tree outdoors. Putting on another one this morning, a place we've never hunted before. We're down here close to Cassie. But we're going to see what happens. Well, folks, it happened Buster. again. This was a special hunt that I didn't even know Captain Buster went on. So, enjoy the hunt, guys. Y'all going deer hunting? <laughs> Y'all going to kill a deer? Y'all planning on it anyway, aren't you? We'll try. Yeah. We'll try, boss. We'll yeah. try, boss. I hear you. We want to kiss you a little bit if they can. I can see. You. See how good they are. Yeah. <laughs> With all three of them shooting, they'll, they'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> Another Bubble Round Tree Outdoors video is coming to you right now. Welcome to South Carolina Deer Dog Drives 2016. I'm your host, Wade Bodyguard Rush. Along with our most awesome co host, Captain Buster Rush. BRO co-host Josh Country Boy Brown. So coming right along with the BRO crew as we go in hot pursuit of some South Carolina whitetails. Our BRO cameraman, Russell Halftime Rush. Keith Stokes. Beck Ayer. And Mr. Ron Renegade Watts. I could have done again, but I shot you. I think I got it again. This is Bubble Roundtree Outdoors. We got the we got the sure shots in here today. Absolutely, They don't miss. I bet interview somebody else. You got the wrong. They don't miss. The British brought in the Hessians. It's kind of like us. <laughs> Had to go to the upstate, bring in some mercenaries. Well, didn't, didn't they lose the war, though? Well, we weren't supposed to remember that. <laughs> I was thinking they did. Thinking. Thinking, yeah. I can think. I just don't do it a whole lot. We planned this stuff out, didn't we? Yeah. I gave you fair warning. I told you I'd leave somebody to take care of you. All you gotta do is pull yeah. you tell you, it's getting to be something right when you gotta have a playing computer out to playing your hunt. We used to draw in the dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just, just ride the tree line right on there. Gotcha. <laughs> so far, it's still working. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, That's right. All right. Captain Buster above Round Tree Outdoors this is the first drive. We're going to make two drives today. I'm right on the old wire road, so it'll be cars and cars and trucks and cars and trucks and trucks and cars. But uh, it's going to be a good stand. I just hope I can hear the dogs coming and I hope he comes where I can see him and shoot him. Alright, we ready to go. I'll, let you, I'll turn you back on when they turn loose the dogs. Okay folks, a little bit of a spoiler alert of what you're fixing to witness here. 
a little over a year ago, I loaded a handful of buckshot rounds for testing to make a video for you guys. Some with no powder, primer only pushing the buckshot, some with only half a powder charge. And written clearly on these holes is a big T-E-S-T, -E test. And they got misplaced or put into the general reload population. And I told Captain Buster and Josh that if they run across these rounds that says test on them, do not, whatever you do, do not load them in your gun. Well, it happened twice. Josh ended up with one and Captain Buster ended up with another one. So wait for it, guys. All right, they just said turn them loose and they are turning them loose. Here we go guys, about three and a half minutes into the hunt, the dogs jump a big doe and a yearling and bring them a little over 100 yards from Captain Buster, and that's when the fiasco begins. Big time safety issue right here, hunters. Captain Buster immediately opens the action and notices there is no daylight coming through the barrel, so he knows the wad is stuck in the barrel, and he's got to get something to dislodge that wad. I saw the deer, the deer was running uh, away from me, away from the paved road. Looked like she might have been quartering toward the paved road. And that she was flying, she's in about 150 yards. Now watch this, he's just got the wad knocked out of the barrel, now the yearling's going to double back and come right back by Captain Buster. He wouldn't have been able to shoot anyway because he'd have been shooting right at the hounds. Well, the first shot at that big doe, and I tried to shoot, did nothing but the primer go off, and so it had the widen about eight inches up in the barrel. So I'm scrambling, I had to cut me a, get all the shells out and cut me a stick, and as I'm ramming it down the barrel, I had to get that uh, shot cup out. As I'm getting it out, here comes a big yearling runs 50 yards from me. I could have dumped it with no problem. And I'm still trying to get things together. And uh, so anyway, I showed, 
Well, my gun messed up, or the shell messed up. The gun didn't mess up. But I think I'm ready now. Well, I believe that's the hunt. I know they killed two, and uh, I had two to come by me. I don't think I could have got that first one. That thing was flying. I had about 100, 125 yards. But the second one, oh, law, come by here about 40 yards from me, broadside, and me with a reload that had gone bad on me. Did nothing but the primer go off, and I was trying to get the shot cup out the barrel and just couldn't do nothing with that one either. So anyway, we'll probably put on another hen a little bit. Talk with you later. So, <laughs> I think so. Actually, it said, pep. I knew what you see. I used to reload too. I said, uh, law ain't up, but the primer come off, and the buckshot says, <laughs> So I knew the shot cup was still in the barrel. So I'm scrambling. I finally unloaded the gun. Look, you couldn't see down the barrel. I said, It's there. So I run over there and I'm cutting a little sapling, cut it about that long. And I hear David say, Oh, you hear it just come by me? I said, oh, crap. <laughs> You know, and I knocked it out and was getting out. And I looked up and that thing run as far as me to the other, right the other side of the road from me, right by me. And me over there. <laughs> All right. God, if I'm us a big old duck. Well, you'll have already seen it. And then when we ever we get How many did you see? Uh, seven. To get ready seven. To do it, which will probably be maybe the end of January. That's a big one. Go ahead and grab it by the ear and tell me the story. If you want to give me a call or something whenever you get there or whatever, I might be able to answer. You? I'm not sure. Tell me how you uh, killed that deer. Well, they came out in front of me and then All right. they jumped the hill. Thank you very much. And then when they jumped the hill, right. I started shooting at And she went right down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I pray crook. Yeah. Um, Boy, uh, y'all see anything? <laughs> Negatory goes right. Yeah. He said it was. He said it was. Yeah. He said Said it was seven to come by. Foster, did you hear about that well, me and 13 Charles foot alligator Russell? Yeah. Them dogs caught, back in. Sorely caught him on the roof. Yeah, I think he told me about Russell, it. Russell, you know, 13 foot alligator you single handedly caught. You remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. How can you forget That's that? That's you told the story, I hope. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's, a, here's a piece of summer sausage oh, from that alligator. From the alligator? From that alligator. I, I, I don't eat think that. the deer ever crossed him. We could see down you got, there. I never yeah. see the deer. I think the deer turned back. Pretty good. Well, he run out of the room and stopped. You don't want me to lie. I don't want you to lie. And he would have crossed the road. He would have crossed way before we ever got to him. They were sounding good. Every dog one of them deer. You don't taste bad. You don't taste bad. Having a mind, five 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 for a 13 footer. If you had that much energy, would you be worth a lot more money? Do it! Do it! Do it! Had to stay still on the stand, so they got a lot of energy. All right, we're getting ready to start the second drive. Boy, there's some standards mighty close in here, but I think we'll be all right. We just won't shoot toward one another. Yards, yeah, all the way down that dirt road. Nothing much happened on Captain Buster's side of the drive. He only had his cameras there today and we didn't have any other cameras spread out across the hunt. There was a couple of big does killed way on the other side of the drive and that was just about going to wrap the second hunt. So let's wrap it up guys. Hey, uh, give me the story. <laughs> we came running past them and got, the, got the, the second one and then she came running past me and I shot her and she came in and ran past me. So you killed one and yeah. Justin? Yeah, he got, Justin got one and I got the other one. <laughs> Both of them big does? Justin killed the safety goddamn it. Man, you talking about good eating? You better believe. A woman at my house has done got dinner cooked. If I don't go there, she's gonna scold me. That's where I'm headed.
Thanks for coming along with us, guys. I think we've got one or two maybe still in the queue, so we may have one or two left. So stand by. There could be another one coming soon. This is Wade Rush with the BRO channel. We'll be back with another one soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to get by the web page at www.bubbleroundtree.com and leave me the pictures for the meat locker and the trophy room pages, guys. Thank you.